Hey everyone, welcome back to Xfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be bringing back the recreation series. In this series, we take a really cool website that I find and we recreate it in Editor X. For today's video, as we are dipping our toes back into this series, this is the website that we are going to be building in Editor X. It's a very short page and it's very simple, but it looks really modern and clean. So I think this will be a really great website to recreate. And we can go ahead and jump right into Editor X. Now, as usual, I've already done the header and footer to kind of save time on the video, but I have already released videos on building the perfect header and footer. So if you wanna watch those after this video, they'll be linked in the description below. But for this first section, let's go ahead and check it out. What we have here in this hero section is basically a heading with a paragraph, a little call to action input here, and then we have this image. So in Editor X, what I want to do is maybe have two sections. This one will be the text and the input form, and then down below will be the image. So let's go ahead and work on the text first. What I want to do is give us some more height to work with for now. So we'll go ahead and set the section to 700 pixels. Of course, that will change later. And I want to come over to add, we'll do text, and we'll just drag out this heading one right here. Now for this heading one, we have enter sem semi bold as the font, and we have it set to 104 pixels. For this text, I want to align it to the center, and we'll also come over to layout and align it to the center here as well. And just to make it easy, what I want to do is just copy and paste it from their actual website. So we'll just copy and paste it just like that. And I think that looks really, really good. Now, one minor change that I do want to adjust here is the line spacing. So I kind of want it to be like 1.2 EM. Maybe we'll do like 0.9. I think that looks really good like that. Great. Now let's add a paragraph field. So we'll drag this one out. Again, we want this to be centered. And I'm just going to copy and paste the text from their actual site. I'm going to expand the width just like that. And I'm going to come over to layout and I'm going to set the width to max content. And we'll put this right underneath the header. Okay, the next thing we need to create is the form. So what we can do is come over to the add and go to contact and forms. And we can just try to find one that we want to use. Maybe this one will work right here. Now, once this is added, I'm going to remove the heading text for the form. I'm also just gonna remove the success message for this input, let's go into edit field and let's remove the field title. So we'll just cut this and then we'll go down to placeholder. And for this placeholder text, we need it to say your email. So we'll say your email, just like that. And now we can go ahead and start designing it. So what I want to do first is grab this input field We'll make sure it's in the left grid cell and not in both. Then I'm going to go to design. We'll change the background to like a nice light gray. For the border, let's go ahead and remove it completely. We'll just say none. Corners, we want them to be like super rounded. So we'll do 999 pixels. That will round the edges perfectly for us. And if we press this layout, we can adjust the placeholder padding from like 10 to maybe like 24. And for this text, we want to make sure that it's our enter, enter semi bold. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Maybe not that big. <laughs> and then we'll change the color to like a dark gray. And actually for this fill color, let's go and lower the opacity to like 50%. I think that looks good. 
great. Now for this button, let's go ahead and change the settings here from join to get early access. Just like that. Let's change the background color to our accent blue. For the border, we don't want a border, so we'll just remove it. For the corners, we also want this to be rounded, so we'll set a radius of 999. And then for the text, just like with the input field, we want to change the font to enter semi-bold. And we'll make it the same size as the other font, just like that. Okay. So obviously this does not look good yet. So let's go ahead and change this to one FR. Then we'll change this to maybe two FR just so we have something that looks like that. Let's add like a 10 pixel gap here. And let's look at this right here. We'll see that this is set to 80 pixels in height. So let's go ahead and do that for this button as well. Perfect. And now what I want to do is grab the actual form container. We'll come over to minimum height and say none. Great. So now let's actually grab the container. We'll put it right underneath this paragraph text. We'll make sure it's centered. And we'll do that for each one of these items as well. And we'll grab all three of these. We'll stack these together. And then with the stack selected, we'll go ahead and center it. Now to change the size of the section, what I want to do is with this stack selected, I want to add docking to the top and bottom. So if we take a look here at this website, we maybe have like, we don't have that much space. So maybe like 40 pixels and 40 pixels should do. So let's set both of these to 40. And then we'll grab the section itself and remove the height. So now we should have something that looks like this. Now for the bottom, I think I do want to add a little bit more padding, so or margin, so we'll do 60 on the bottom. Great. Now let's add a brand new section, and this one's gonna be this really big image here. So with this section selected, let's set the height to like 900 for now. Then we'll go ahead and add the image. So we'll go to media, and we'll drag this one out onto the page. Perfect. Now for the width, let's set this to be like 80% and we'll center it. Okay. The next thing I want to do is with this section is just remove the height. So now this will be that section and it looks really nice. But if I go ahead and refresh the page, we'll kind of notice that this text kind of moves up and this photo kind of appears in. So I want to grab this photo. We want to add an animation. So what we're gonna do for this image is float in and we want it to float in from the bottom. And we want the duration to maybe be like 0.6. I think that looks good. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do that for this stack here as well. We'll do float in. We'll say the direction from the bottom and we'll set the timing to be 0.6. Okay, so now if we go out and preview, here's what we should see. I think that looks cool. Now I will say for this image, maybe we can add a little bit of a delay. So I can go to customize and maybe add like a 0.3 delay to it, just so that the text kind of comes in first and then this image next. Now let's go ahead and start working on the next section. So let's add a new section, we'll make it blank. And basically it's just gonna be three lines of text that each kind of appear at different times. So let's give us some room to work with. Let's do like 800 pixels for now. What I want to do is add a container. Let's make this container like 80% width. And I want to add 
three rows, just like that. And maybe in between each of these rows, we give it like a 30 pixel gap. Perfect. I'm gonna make it a little bit taller for now. And I'm going to add a heading two in each one of these boxes. Let's set this to be 100% width, centered, and then with this text, let's make sure that it's aligned to the center as well. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. This one will be in the second row and centered. And we'll do it one more time. We'll make sure this one's in the third row and completely centered. And for this text, we're gonna want it to be blue. Great, so now let's go ahead and just copy and paste the text over from the website. And now what I want to do with this section is remove the background color. We'll also come into the layouts settings. And for each of these rows, we're gonna set this to minimum content. Now what I want to do is grab each one of these text elements and we'll add a float in. We want it to float in from the bottom and then we'll do that for the second one as well. Float in from the bottom. But this one, we want to add like a 0.3 delay. Perfect. And last but not least, we'll do that for this one as well. We want it to float in from the bottom, but for this one, we want to add like a 0.6 delay. So now when we preview the website, it should look like that, which looks clean. And then what I want to do is add 150 pixels to the top and the bottom. Of course, we want to switch these over to dynamic values. And now with the section selected, we can remove the height. The next section that we're gonna be building is this one right here. Now, if I refresh, you'll notice that the image kind of expands in a little bit. So we'll have to recreate that animation as well. But let's go ahead and Add a brand new section. Let's give us some room to work with. Let's add a container. With this container, we'll make the width 80%. We'll also give us some room to work with by setting a height of 600 for now. And before we forget, let's also remove the background color. Then we'll give it a two by one grid with like a 150 pixel gap in between. Maybe we can even do 200. And we'll set this to be a responsive value. Over here in the left, we want to add our image. So we'll come over to add media and we'll grab this image. We'll drag this into our container. Then we will center it inside of the left column. For the right column, let's start by adding a heading two. We'll just send this to the top left and set it to maybe like 60% for, for now. Then let's add a paragraph field and we'll set this to 60% as well. And we'll align it to the left and bring it right underneath the heading two. With both of these selected, what I want to do is stack them together. And now I'm just going to copy and paste the words from the website. And we'll go ahead and expand this to be 80% width instead of 60. I think that looks really good. But for this text, I do want to adjust the line spacing to maybe Okay, 1.1 I think looks really good. Now with this stack, I also want to adjust the spacing here. So instead of 35 pixels, maybe we'll do something like 24. I think that looks a little bit better. Then we'll grab the stack and let's just center it vertically. Great. And I want to add, if we go ahead and dock it to the top, we'll see that there's 80 pixels here. 
So let's set this to 80 pixels and then we'll change it to a responsive value. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom, so 4.1 VW. Now we can grab the container itself. We can remove the height and we can remove the height from the row and the grid. And then with the container, let's remove the docking from the top. Let's remove the margin from the top and let's add like 150 pixels to the bottom and switch this over to a responsive value. Great. Now we can grab the section and just remove the height. And this is what we should see. I think that looks really good. Now for this image, we want to kind of do the expand, which I'm not a huge fan of Wix's expand because if we look at this website, you know, it doesn't expand that much. It's a lot more subtle, whereas this one's a lot more in your face. But unfortunately, I'm not really seeing too many options to wait to make this like look a little bit better. Because if we do expand and we do customize, let's see what soft looks like. I guess that one's okay. That makes it a little bit more subtle. So we'll go ahead and do that one. Great. But if we take a look at the website, we basically just have three more sections of this. So all I'm going to do is to make it easier on myself. I'm just going to copy and paste this section two more times. Perfect. So now we have three sections of the same thing. Now what I want to do with this one is I want this image to be in the right. And then I want this stack to be in the left. And with this text, I'm going to dock it to the right and undock it from the left. And I'm going to change the margin to zero here. And that's basically just going to move it over to the right hand side, just like how this one's on the left hand side, but it's going to keep the docking on the top and bottom that we have already set. And we're just going to change the image real quick. Okay, we'll make sure that it still has its animation. And now I'm just going to change out the text real quick. Now, because there is less text here, what I want to do is just center this text here. And just like what we did before is I'm going to dock it to the top and bottom. I'm going to dock it to the top and switch this over to a responsive value. Then I'm going to apply that responsive value to the bottom as well. Great. Now, last but not least, we're going to have this section here. So let's start by changing the image and then we can go ahead and change the text as well. Now, because this image is a little bit bigger, once again, we need to grab the stack and center it. We'll dock it to the top and we'll switch it to a responsive value. And we'll apply that responsive value to the bottom. Great. So now if we go all the way up to the top and we preview the website, here is what we will see. And that looks really, really clean. But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.